Is this, is this thing, thing on? on? Alright, Xavier Clark. Shout out to the mans. Sharing a name. Not really. I'm happy with that. Well, it's spelt differently. Yeah. It, I've, I've spelt it correctly. I've got the E on the end, but... No. What do you mean, no? <laughs> it's meant to have an E. No. The E's silent. No. <laughs> You're wrong. So. Clark. Tulips. Travis Scott who? It sounds exactly like Travis Scott, but... The inspiration is very clear. In, sta- in saying that, it doesn't sound bad. Like, I wouldn't take that away from him. No, that's very good. Like, I, I like it. I think there was one song in particular. Does he use... It's lit. Butterfly effect. I don't know. I because didn't hear any butterfly effect, to be honest. It's cold. Listen. For the life I cannot yeah. change. Okay, I can definitely hear that now, yeah. Yeah, the inspiration is very clear. I think overall, this album was very good. Mm. And like, it's not like it's like Travis Scott, but worse. Yeah. Like, I it's still really that. good. Um, and I would be more than happy to bang this at a party. 100%. Yeah. Like, I know it's going to go off. Like, you can put this one at a party, and people will be like, oh, who's that? Mm. Like, oh, what was that Travis Scott song? Or what was that? Yeah. Lil Uzi Vert. I think Lil Uzi Vert as well mm. was a pretty big inspiration here. Just, like, obviously the heavy auto-tune. Yeah. Overall, I really did actually enjoy it. It's only yeah, four tracks too. again. Mm. So I've had some little ones recently. 10 minutes 45. Mm. But, yeah, overall, no skips on this, obviously. Being so small, you'd sort of expect that. But, uh, yeah, all killer, no filler. Yeah. Um, every song's really great. I'd listen to every song again. I think Cold is my favourite, the the final track. I think the first and the last were the two best. I, I really like Relations with yeah. Save, like he's the, the feature on it. I thought that was really nice. Yep. It was nice to see Will Cherry's name out yep. there. Yep. I did actually give his previous two albums a bit of a scrub through as well. Okay. Not an in-depth sort of sit-down listen. Uh, it was Secluded and Secluded 2. Right. Um, the first one, it was fairly, like, cookie-cutter trap. Like, it was good, but, yeah. like, I've heard it before kind right. of thing. Mm-hmm. Then Secluded 2, there was a bit more direction with it. There was a bit right. more flavour, a bit more him there. Right. And now there's this, where it shows a lot of progression, especially with the production. It's very, very clean production, very well polished. Similar to Travis Scott, it's very layered. Right. And... um. Yeah, it's seeing the the progression of you was very, very apparent. Yes, I agree. The, um, it it is just really good overall. It is, yeah. I'm not entirely sure if continuing to go down the Travis Scott road would be a good decision because I just don't know how Travis Scott fans would react. Whether they would like it because it's more art or more music that they like. Yeah. Or if it's hey, you're stealing from my idol. Yeah. I don't know which one they would prefer, but like. If you want to go after Travis Scott's throat Mario Judah style, go for it. 100%. Yeah. Like, right, yeah. But, yeah, I'm just worried that you'll sort of be seen as like a mini-me version. Yeah. I um, think, and there's a lot of them at the moment Yeah. in the world because Travis Scott's obviously really big and obviously Travis Scott followed in other people's footsteps. But, mm. uh, so maybe from following, following in his footsteps, you'll be able to sort of branch off as Travis has done, and make your own sound yeah. off of it. But, um, yeah, very, very solid album. I liked it a lot. And, yeah, like I said, I'm happy to bump that at a party. I know it's going to go off. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. This, this album's really good. Like, um, I don't have any sort of qualms or criticisms on this. I think it's overall good. The only one thing I would say is I just wish it was longer. Like, yeah, I agree. If this was, like, seven or eight tracks, like, you doubled it, and obviously... You've kept it this short because maybe that's like what you had mm. um, it, and what you wanted to release because you're trying to keep the quality of the sound up. Yeah. But overall, I think this was a really great effort and I'll definitely be listening to this a lot more. Yeah, well. I, I completely agree. I think, yeah, you, you're good at the sound and yep. yeah, I, I did genuinely really like it. Yep. No, there's not too much I can say because like, yeah, I liked it. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. <laughs> Are we going for a score? Yep. Three, two, one. Six point five. I've gone. I've gone half a grade above you again. Yeah, I was thinking of a seven. Yeah. But yeah. Seven. I think it's really good. Um, yeah. And yeah, keep it going. I think 
Ramirez had a little bit more um, roundness to it. Mm. It was a little bit more complete. Yeah. I think that's the only reason why it's getting a bit lower. But I Yeah, would, it had a theme. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is really good. You've found a sound that you're good at. Just unfortunately, someone's beaten you to it. Yeah. I think that's what it is. But um, yeah, I just don't have much to say about it because it's, it's good. I liked it. I yeah. have no criticisms or irks or anything like that. Yep, I agree. So yeah, well done on Tulips. I'm looking forward to hearing some more from you. Seeing some more of that progression. Yeah, keep it coming to us too. We'll keep listening. Yeah, 100%. All right, well, be sure to check back uh, tomorrow for another part of my punishment. Oh, yes, I forgot about that. Listening to Dave's psychodrama and nothing but Dave's psychodrama for five days. Let's go. We'll see you then. That's a wrap.